after the solar and the lunar eclipse of February we enter into March and uh, it is calm, it is progressive and it's wonderful. So success is yours if you've paid attention in February and now is the time when each one of us can actually sow new seeds and make our life much better. Aquarius. Aquarius 2017 for you guys. Well, on February 18th, you began your yearly career peak on, or financial peak and this continues until the 20th. Earnings will be strong. Your spouse or partner or current love is financially supportive and very active in all your finances. Partnership and joint ventures are likely to happen, especially on the first or on the second. Investors will see increases in dividends and uh, other investment income may also fructify this month. Mercury in the money house until the 13th shows happiness in speculations as financially you are favored. Love attitude will be materialistic especially until the 20th. Wealth is a turn on for singles gravitate to the good provider the giver of material gifts. On the 20th, your love planet moves into your third house and you will gravitate towards impressive and smooth talkers. Good communications will be a form of foreplay from the 13th onwards. Love remains happy and you may find love in the settings you enjoy the most. Last month, on the 7th, the planetary power began to shift from top half of your chart to the bottom. So it's time to let go of career matters and give more attention to your family and friends. Encourage your own emotional well-being. Finding and functioning from your emotional comfort zone is also very important for you. You will be successful but good emotional wellness will prepare the way and will set it on a good foundation. So again Aquarius for you in a nutshell two very important things. First is please get your wellness, emotional wellness in order so that your success in career is basically an attribution or a foundation of your emotional well-being. If you're happy emotionally, you're bound to be doing very well and giving productive results where your career is concerned. Second is remember that before the 20th of this month, you will gravitate towards people who, are, who have a lot of money or who are rich or who are in authority, right? And this after the 20th, you're gravitating towards people who are much intelligent and have the intellect uh, capacity to match with yours. So what does this denote? This basically uh, says that whoever you are getting attracted to, don't just make it permanent impulsively. Give it time. Be friendly to the person before you make a final commitment. And for you Aquarians, you need to know a person from six months to one year before taking that final step. Your family planet Aquarians, uh, Venus is going retrograde on the 4th. So family issues are not what they seem. So take time to get mental clarity before acting. Not a good time to sell or buy houses. Next month, after the 15th, you could make major purchases or even you could sell off what you feel you want to sell. You'll get a good price for it. Health remains good and there's only one planet, Mars, which is in stressful alignment with you from the 10th onwards. As always, your health and energy will be strongest during the waxing moon periods from the 1st to the 12th and then from the 28th onwards. The 3rd and 30th brings stressful aspects to you but you will have the energy to handle them as your health planet is very close to the earth. Mars in your 4th house is wonderful for doing construction work or renovations at your workplace or at home. However, with Venus retrograde, my advice would be please wait until the next month and, don't, and then only think about constructing or renovating your places. Anything done in March is bound to create confusions and delays. So watch it and take care. For your best days, it's important that you get into my website because I have written specially that which are the greatest days going to be in a month for you, the most hectic days, 
the honey days, the money days and the best days for your profession. In case if you are interested in knowing personally what is the year holding for you or what are your positives and weaknesses and talents, it's best you subscribe to my YouTube and also probably connect with me at connect.tollymangat.com.